Welcome to the epic precipice trail at Acadia National Park in Maine. This hike is about two miles round trip with over a thousand feet elevation change. So it's not an easy hike. It requires upper body strength and you shouldn't do this hike if you have a fear of heights. This specific hiking trail is located on the eastern side of Mount Desert Island along Park Loop Road. Heading south on Park Loop Road, you'll see a parking lot off to your right. It's a smaller parking lot and it fills up quickly, so try to get there by 7.30 a.m. on the summer months or you might not get a spot. The trail starts by going through the rocky forest and starting to do a little bit of scrambling, a little bit of climbing on some of the ladders just to give you a little taste of what you're going to experience later on in this hike. And you continue meandering through the forest until you come to a large rock pile scrambling section of the hike. This scrambling section of the hike is pretty well marked with blue striping on the rocks. So just follow the trails by seeing those blue stripes on the rocks. You have to make your way under some rocks, over some rocks, around some rocks, but it's a lot of fun. Just be careful with your footing, especially if it just rained because the rocks can get slippery. After the rock scrambling section, you're gonna make your way slightly downhill along the cliff face, just kind of hugging that cliff wall until you come to a crossroads point, an intersection at the trail, where you'll see a sign that says, go left to go to the precipice trail up to the top of Champlain Mountain. Go back the way you came to get back to the trailhead parking lot, or go to your right to follow the orange and black path. And this is where you're gonna head left and go up slope to the top of Champlain Mountain following the precipice trail. And this is where things start to get exciting. This last section of heading up to the top of Champlain Mountain is one of the most exciting parts of the trail. You're still clinging to that cliff face. You're going up and down switchbacks and you're using these metal rungs to climb up these ladders that have been drilled into the rock. Some parts of this trail have a really steep drop and you have a narrow pathway. So if you're afraid of heights, let me repeat myself. This is not the hike for you. <laughs> Take your time, keep your footing, just try to stay close to the wall if you feel safer doing that and you'll make your way to the top and you're gonna be really proud of yourself. It's a great hike. And eventually you make it to the top of Champlain Mountain and you have some amazing views of the Atlantic Ocean, Bar Harbor, and all the other little islands right in that area. Once you make it to the top, it's a great point to sit and have a snack or grab a drink of water and then head back down the mountain you're going to hit a couple intersections and at this point you just want to follow the orange and black path back down to Park Loop Road. Now it may not sound like the most adventurous and exciting thing to just take the Park Loop Road back to your vehicle, but it's the much less strenuous and safer route to take because if you continue on the black and orange path to the original path you took, you're gonna have to do that scramble, but going down instead of going up. 
and scrambling down a bunch of rocks is not as easy as scrambling up a bunch of rocks. So it's much easier to just take this forested path with a less steep slope, less of an incline back down to the road and just walk the flat path along the park loop road back to the parking lot. And then you make it back to the parking lot and that completes your hike. You did the two mile, 1000 foot elevation gain, epic precipice hike with all that climbing. So stretch out your arms, stretch out your legs, and then continue on with your day in Acadia National Park. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it gets you pumped up for hiking the precipice trail. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our national park or outdoor hiking adventures.